In this video, um, we're going to discuss a follow-up after creating our Kali Linux instance, how to set up Windows instances so that you can practice attacks and ensure you have communication between the two. So one of the things that you want to look for here is um, go to your existing Kali instance and look at what subnet it's using, in this case the EE4E. So when you create a new Windows instance, want to ensure that when you're configuring the details make sure to set it in that same subnet and then also make sure you have a public IP so that you can RDP to that uh, or uh, that Windows server if you need to. Um, go ahead and take defaults for the rest of the setup. Once that Windows server is stood up you can get the password by going to actions get Windows password and you just upload your key pair if you already um, have one created and it'll give you the decrypted password. Now the key step that you want to do to be able to ensure you have communication between these two, go ahead to the Kali um, Linux instance, grab its private IP, copy it, then go ahead and click your Windows instance and go ahead and navigate to the security group. What we're going to want to do is go to the uh, inbound tab on that security group edit and you're going to want to add a rule this rule won't be here initially but go ahead and create a rule that says allow all traffic from the IP of that Kali the internal IP of that Kali Linux machine and make sure you put it in the following notation to say allowing traffic from just that IP and save so now that we have that rule in place um, the Windows machine in the AWS environment will allow traffic from um, Kali to that machine. The one additional step that you might want to do is, is go ahead and RDP to that Windows machine via its public IP and using that password that you decrypted. That way you can get in and turn off the Windows firewall or set up that environment for whatever type of attack it is that you're trying to run. Once you've done that, you should be able to test and navigate to your um, Kali instance. Go ahead and run a ping against that Windows machine. In this case I can ping because I turned off the Windows firewall on that server. Additionally you can start running other commands to identify that machine. And once your nmap scan completes, in this particular example we get further confirmation that we are scanning a Windows server. We see some open ports. Also we see a little bit of the uh, operating system information which matches as well roughly what we are um, we're scanning and and that's the basic setup um, obviously you can lock down on the Windows side firewall put applications that are vulnerable and really set up the lab in whatever format that you want